it seems unreasonable to be disadvantaging children in Wales by not making this a mandatory part of the curriculum when everywhere else in the UK is getting on board with it. Every minute that goes past without CPR, your survival of an out of hospital cardiac arrest decreases by 10%. The whole point of educating our children is to give them skills that they can take forward into the future and I think this is truly a lifelong skill. I'm Laurie Smith, I work as a doctor in South Wales, I'm originally from Cornwall. And I'm Katie Clark and I also work as a doctor in South Wales but I'm from Devon. It was an autumn Saturday morning, we went to our local park run. I, I noticed that one of the runners in front of us had, um, coming the other way, had, uh, had fallen over. And we quickly realised that he wasn't breathing normally, but we were also able to recognise the second he went into cardiac arrest um, and start CPR straight away. The parkrun volunteers all have walkie-talkies, so they were able to radio down to the start line to get the defibrillator. We shocked uh, the gentleman once. We had return of pulse and um, signs of life, which was amazing. By the time the air ambulance had landed, um, about 15 minutes later, um, the gentleman was showing signs of recovery and he was airlifted to hospital and, and had a um, fantastic recovery. It doesn't make a difference if you're a doctor or not, the principles are still the same. There's nothing that we did that any other person couldn't do. And the statistics have shown that in countries where they have made it mandatory, the survival of an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest is a lot higher. If you come across that situation tomorrow, what would you do? Would you be able to save this person's life? <laughs>